Hello, and welcome to another brief and basic demonstration of a Peoria Public Library's online resource. Today we're looking at the eRead Illinois collection slash Access 360. Um, to access this collection, you would go to peoriapubliclibrary.org and click on the Downloads tab. I should say this is to access this collection through a laptop or desktop computer like I'm using today. You can also click on this gray Downloads and Streaming box. Either will take you to the same place, the Peoria Public Library's Digital Collections page, not to be confused with our databases, which is in the research tab. As you can see, we have several different digital collections. And what we're looking at today is Access 360, the service that hosts our eRead Illinois collection. Click on eRead Illinois, and it'll take us to the service. So from the main page, I'm going to do many things. First of all, you can log in, which I always recommend doing. If you've never logged in before, it'll ask you the same information. You have to put in a library card number and a PIN number. If you don't have one or either of those, at the end of this demonstration, I will show you how you can get one. Log in. Once you're logged in, it'll show you what you're currently reading here at the top, and then it'll bring you back to this the uh, featured list that are always on the home page. And as you can see, they're featured because they are popular, probably new additions to the collection. And as you can see, like I said, popular because just about all of them are checked out. You can tell because it says place a hold at the bottom and the little book icon for the ebooks or audiobook icon for audiobooks is grayed out. Something you can do to make sure that you're looking at books that are available if you don't want to wait and just put something on hold. So you can hit available now and that'll you can also choose your you know, different format if you want ebook only or if you want on ebook only you can select that here at the top too and now you can see that these little books are not grayed out so you can choose any of these to check out if you wanted go ahead and go back to all because it will remember that available now later and I did want to go ahead and show you how you can place a hold. So, let's just find something. I'm sure, I like this author. We could hit place hold here. And since I'm signed in, it just automatically places it in my holds list on my account. And I'll be notified when the item is ready to check out. That is how you place a hold which is something you probably often have to do from this featured collections list. If you wanted to browse something a little more specifically than these featured collections, which again is just sort of new things, newly added things, I'm saying if you're looking for a certain genre of book, you could go to the Browse by Subject menu. Um, from the very beginning, you'll see that a lot of these are nonfiction subjects, and each one kind of breaks down into a more specific section. Let's see. Um, and say, hey, we're all stuck at home, we're looking at crafts and hobbies because we need something to keep us busy. Um, so again, I, I chose crafts and hobbies, and you see here that it breaks it down into more specific subtopics, you know, jewelry, crafts for children, that sort of thing. If you're looking for fiction, you could choose fiction, juvenile fiction, or young adult fiction, and all of them would break down into a more specific subgenre of fiction too. So you can see here African American, action adventure, crime, disaster, dystopia. I'm sure dystopia is pretty popular these days with all the plague books and things. So let's go ahead and look at dystopian fiction. Alright, yeah. so yeah, here's some great looking titles. Um, in fact, Station Eleven is a great book. It was a recent Peoria Reads and it talks about a major pandemic that wipes out a good part of the world population. Let's go ahead and use it as an example to show you how to check out. I like audiobooks, so I'm going to check out the Station Eleven audiobook. Just check out. It'll show that it was checked out successfully and put into my account. So that brings us to looking at how you look at your account, what you have checked out. Go to your checkouts. And this shows what's available for you to check out. Um, your options would be these more options show you how you can return the book early because you are limited to five checkouts at a time. 
Um, it's not a bad idea sometimes if you finish a book before it's due to go ahead and return it. I'm not actually going to read this book right now, so I'll show you. You can go ahead and return that way. And then you could listen now from here in the browser. As I mentioned, this um, I'm using the a laptop or desktop computer. This collection is also popularly available from an app called Access 360 that's freely available in the App Store or um, Google Play Store. So if I were to access it from my phone, I could download this audio file and then I could listen to it from my phone anytime and I wouldn't need constant access to the internet to do so. I, of course, if you're accessing from a computer in order to even get to this collection, you need to have internet access. So I could listen now without having to download. But an option if you were looking at the app would be to download it. Um, which I do hope to show the app demos here shortly also. Um, so beyond checkouts on your account, you can look at holds. This is one that I just placed on home <laughs> to show you how it worked. And um, also so you could choose to remove these holds. Say if I decide I didn't want it after all, you can get some more information, see up hold position so you kind of get an idea of how long you'll be waiting. See, I'm looking at position 84 for this one. <laughs> um, so if you click on the book itself, you can get a little bit more information, like uh, specifically the number of available copies, so it kind of helps you to figure out uh, roughly how long you might have to wait. So we do have several copies of this book, so it's not going to take as long as if there were only one. That's all things you can see from the holds menu. Wish list is where you might save books that um, you don't want to check out right now, but you don't want to forget about. This is a book that I want to listen to sometime, but not necessarily right now. And uh, you can put things on your wish list from your holds list, also from the collection itself. And so that is basically how to access your eRead Illinois service, the collection itself, and how to navigate your account once you are signed in there. I just want to show you again. I think I think it's in the more options that you can add to wish list right from these menus also if you wanted to put something in your wish list again so you don't don't forget about it but don't really want to wait for it right now type of thing. Um, as promised I wanted to quickly show you if you don't have your library card number you're having any trouble accessing these Collections can say you don't know what your PIN is. If you go to the Contact Us page on our website and choose the email option here, we have a ask a, library, ask a library an email that is being regularly staffed while the library is closed, so you can get help from that staff. If you don't have a library card at all and you want to access these online collections, you can go to Using the Library and get a library card. And fill out this... Uh, short form here that'll get you an online it'll get you the library card number and the pin number you need and then once we reopen um it'll give you kind of recourse to come in show us some photo id and proof of address and we'll get you the actual permanent fiscal card that is that that's how you would access the eRead illinois collection if you have any questions again contact us and um stay safe and healthy thank you